Now, I wasn't really happy to grind to 5 out of 5 renown for the 4 paragon points. The grind felt very tedious and you had to do a lot of stuff that isn't really that fun and feels more of like a very grindy thing that is also requiring to spend more time looking at your second monitor instead of the game itself. In my opinion, the 3 out of 5 grind to unlock the 2 skill points and the potion capacity felt really nice and rewarding because you could rather choose all of the activities that you can get through or force yourself through to actually get the benefits. But going to 5 out of 5 would actually require you to complete even more stuff. At least they gave you the option to not have to fully complete everything, but you still had to complete almost everything. Obviously, you would continue doing the altars because you don't want to miss out on all of the stat gains that you would get. So you would definitely smash these out first. And I think strongholds were also really interesting um, to do and a really nice and fun activity. But obviously, then going from 3 out of 5 to 5 out of 5 renown would make you... Uh, do all of the stuff that you previously skipped on your grind to Renown 3. Now, this leaves us with two things. The Renown 4 out of 5 is completely useless because the maximum Obols capacity isn't really beneficial for your character at all. It is a nice to have thing to, to acquire and get with the Renown, but it doesn't really give you any type of character power. But obviously, the 5 out of 5 Renown upgrade uh, with the four Paragon points is an insane power creep for your character. So it's a must have, especially on Hardcore. Therefore, a lot of people decided to follow Voodijo's uh, example and do all of the Renown grind to five out of five after hitting World Tier 3, as that seems to be the most effective current. Now, the problem is, though, if you want to go from 3 out of 5 to 5 out of 5 Renown, you will need 1,100 points of Renown in every region to be able to acquire the four Paragon points. Now, don't get me wrong, as ARPG players, we really like to grind out stuff, but it isn't about grinding out side quests or exploring a region for the 10th time on the season 10, but it's more about killing and trying to min-max your character. So, in my opinion, we should shift some of the renown gains, maybe not shift, but add more types of acquiring renown. So in an ARPG, the setting would be perfect. Kill X amount of monsters, kill Y amount of bosses. And maybe in that case, people would stop min-maxing it as soon as they hit world tier three to get the bonuses out as quick as possible or to acquire the bonuses as quick as possible. But instead, when the grind would kind of like complete itself by having um, to kill X amount of monsters or Y amount of bosses, people would actually enjoy it a little bit more because it would come naturally, but still it would keep the overtime aspect. And people wouldn't uh, or people would stop targeting the um, completion of the Renown 5 out of 5 very fast and wouldn't have to actually sit through 20 hours of just Renown farm um, to be able to uh, gear and equip their character with the maximum amount of power through Paragon points. This is especially helpful or useful or almost needed in Hardcore when you really try to squeeze out every little bit of power that your character can have. So I really hope that they are going to change something about this. Um, I don't know what the correct or best a solution to this problem would be. I just know um, that a lot of players and um, also people on Reddit have been saying that they really despise the grind to 5 out of 5 on Renown, but the 3 out of 5 Renown was totally fine because the effort to reward ratio was very nice for those first three levels. Maybe the solution is also to flip uh, rank 4 and rank 5, so the 4 Paragon points would unlock at rank 4, but I also understand that the power gain from those Paragon points is um, very, very good and therefore was pushed further, on during, uh, further down during the Renown track. But something really needs to be done because I see a big problem coming up if we have to redo all of this in season one 
and season two and season three. The Altars of Lilith being, or the stat gains of the Altars of Lilith being a permanent thing was a very nice start. But the big problem is that it doesn't really help us with the renown grind. It helps us with the starting of a character because you're going to be a little bit more powerful. But the problem is that for the renown grind, you will still probably have to do some Artists of Lilith because they are in most cases very fast renown stuff that you can complete and are sometimes on your way um, between doing other renown stuff. So even that your Altars of Lilith don't need to be redone because you already have the stat gain, you might still want to do them because you need the renown that you can get from those. So you see the dilemma right there. You kind of already have it, but you still need to do it. So that doesn't really help out. Maybe something else could carry over between seasons and we would have to redo Altars of Lilith, for example. Maybe the, oh, you can come up with something like that. I really think that um, that will become a problem further down the line when we go from season to season, because I myself really already um, didn't like the Renown grind to five out of five. 3 out of 5 was totally fine but the yeah the thought of doing all of this over in mid to late July in season 1 and then doing it over in season 2 again kind of stresses me out a little bit because it's a very very boring task that again lets you look at the other screen or your second monitor way more than um than your first monitor. Yes, I can I can understand the uh, argument that people say, yeah, just don't do it. But the problem is we are ARPG players that love to min-max the games. So ARPGs are perfect for this. And obviously we are trying to min-max the power creep during leveling between um, start of the game and max of the game as much as possible. And that involves renown grinding. So we definitely are looking for a way to, to make it faster. And that... Currently, it's looking like um, as soon as you hit World Tier 3, spend the next 20 hours to, to do your Renown. And that is really something that is not um, nice to watch for the viewers on, on a Twitch stream or uh, for the player itself. Um, I really hope that the feedback that the community is trying to deliver to Blizzard is going to be heard. Um, it looks like they are really listening to what the community is already saying and i remember that during the dev update streams they also were asking for our feedback so there goes this video i really hope that someone you know, can actually view this and we will get some confirmation or some comment on the renown grind issue from a blizzard representative and obviously if you like content similar to this make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel and i'll see you next time